Hey guys, Survival101 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your drop line and install it onto your maple lateral. So there are a few things that you're going to need to make your drop line and spout assembly. So first, I'm going to show you what they look like. As you can see here, you got your T on the bottom here, then you've got a 12 or 12 to 24 inch piece of tubing here, and then your spout. And during the off season, um, your tap's gonna wrap, wrap around like so, and it's gonna go into the little holder there. And that's gonna keep your tap clean and ready to go for when the maple season starts. So, what you're gonna need is a pre cut piece of tubing um, around 12 to 24 inches long. It could be really any type of maple tubing. Flex the more flexible it is, the easier it is to work with. Then, what you're gonna need spout or a tap. Any tubing tap will work with this. And then you're going to need a T, which you can see here, which will go into your lateral. So it's going to be very helpful if you have a vise and a tubing tool like this. Now if you're doing a lot of taps, um, you're going to need these things. But if you're just doing a few taps, you can insert uh, those fittings by hand. So I'm just going to put this into the vise, bring it in closer, and then what I'm going to do is take my tubing here, and you want to wet the end, each end of it. So I've got a cup of water here, I'm just going to dip it in either end. Now that's going to help the fittings go on a whole lot easier. So you're going to put this end of your tubing. Here, one of the ends, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put that in like that. And the curl you want, sorry, you can't see that there. The curl you want it to be facing down, like I have here. It's facing towards the ground. And this is really important. This will make sure that you can keep your tubing uh, wrapped up in the off season and it'll go the right direction towards the tree when it's time to tap. So then you're gonna take your T here and you've got two sides here, that's for your lateral, and you've got the one piece that's going up here. And you want to have the little spout holder right here, you want that to be facing away from you, and you want that other barb that's sticking up to go into your tubing. So, just get that in there. Like that. And as you can see, that's your completed one right there. Now I'm going to flip it over. The other side is still facing down. You want your tubing to still be down. And that spout holder right here is going to be facing towards you now. And you're going to insert the tap with the part that goes into the tree facing away from you. I messed up on that one a little bit, but I'll show you another one. So again, bring in real close for this. Both ends of your tubing, you're gonna wet them. You're gonna take your T, as you can see here, and you bring in real close. You're gonna take your T, put it like so. So that the spout holder is facing away from you. And we're gonna work the end into the tubing like that. Flip it over. Take your cap, still facing down. Your tubing is still facing down. And then you're gonna have the part that goes into the tree face away from you. You want all of your fittings to go past both the barbs on here. Well, all your tubing, you want it to go past both the barbs, preferably right up to the top. Um, this is going to give the lowest chance for any type of vacuum leak in your system. 
and uh, now I'm going to go show you how to install them. So now for installation, you're going to have your two-handed tubing tool. You're going to have your drop line here with fittings, and you're going to need some kind of a snipper. And at this point, you want to consider which side of the tree you want to tap on because the tubing runs through the tree, well, past the tree. So I want to tap right on this side, this side of that. Tubing tool on there. I'm gonna take my tubing tool. I'm gonna cut off. Now you're going to take your fitting and lift the top holder facing out away from the tree. You're going to put your fitting in between there. It's helpful to have a second person for this, but you can do it by yourself. And you're just going to squeeze it on all the way up to the top air fitting. Like that. Wrap it around. Off. There you go. Get your finished drop line into your lateral. Make sure it's closer there. It's all finished. You got your hooked in. Goes around to your tap. So, guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more.